Okay, hey, ladies and gents, and welcome to a rather unplanned video, if I'm honest. First things first, the winners for the Halliborn competition have been drawn. Congratulations to Blake, Airplane with Aviators, and Orlando. Check your inboxes for the keys, and I hope to see you on tomorrow night's flyout. So, today's video is from me as a content creator to you as a subscriber, and not for anyone else. About three, almost four weeks ago, I ended all coverage of War Thunder on my channel. Make no mistake, this was a big decision, and I didn't take it lightly. I've already given my reasons as to why, so I won't be going over them again here. However, since that time, not a single day has gone past without receiving a handful of emails, private or public messages on my social media, or comments right here in my videos asking me to come back. Actually, I don't think there's been a video since I stopped my War Thunder coverage that hasn't had somebody comment like that on it. Last night I received an email, however, from a subscriber who goes by the name of Liam. If you are out there, Liam, I know I haven't responded to it, but yes, I did receive the email. Now, Liam's email was long, and it didn't ask me to come back. Instead, it pointed out everything that my channel no longer has as a result of leaving War Thunder and stopping all War Thunder content. To paraphrase his email, his examples were no longer am I teaching new people just coming into flying games or sims. Now I'm just flying on the channel. No longer do I have an easy way for subscribers to randomly encounter me. Most of what I do now is single player. No longer can I easily run events for my subscribers. All the games that I play now require people to buy and not everybody can, so my subs can't interact with me anymore, at least not easily. Now all of these are true, but his last comment is what sort of hit this home. He called me a hypocrite. He pointed out that since I created my channel, I have been doing videos on Gaijin, roasting them for not paying attention to their community, for making decisions without asking for their community's opinions, or giving them a choice. And here I am now with subscribers asking me to play War Thunder, and I didn't give anybody a choice or ask anybody their opinions. And even with them asking, I'm just not answering. Now there's a big difference between a single man running a YouTube channel and a games developer, so I'm not sure I agree with the comparison, but I do see the point. And the large number of emails and messages that I've been getting also makes it clear that some of you want War Thunder back. The question is how many? So, what do I do? What I've decided is that I'm going to close this chapter on my channel the same way it started off, with a poll. There will be no fancy wording or one-sided choices with this one. The question is simple. Do you want me to cover War Thunder? The choices are yes or no. I'll leave the poll running for about a week, and at the end of the week, we'll have our answer. One way or another, the majority will have spoken. Now, if the answer is no, that's it. That's the end of it. It's done. I don't want any more emails. We will move on. If you're not happy with no War Thunder content on the channel, um, well, there won't be any War Thunder content on the channel, so that's it. If the answer is yes, I should make it clear right now that things won't be returning to what they were. My reasons for leaving are still very valid in my opinion, so changes will have to be done. First things first is don't expect the style of critical content that I did in the past. Gaijin have made it clear that they don't want it, and besides that they have never listened to any of it anyway. If I review or look at something in the game it will be for what it is, and not what, how or where it should be. An unemotional assessment of a vehicle, what it does and how it performs and where it stands. I won't be a yes man for Gaijin, but if you want me to return, I won't be wasting my time fighting them anymore. There's no point. They don't care and never have. I will make content for the game, but nothing more. If you're happy with this, click yes on the poll. Otherwise, click no. The link to the poll will be in the video description below. And that is about it for this video. Hopefully, this will tidy this up one way or another. In the end, honestly, I don't feel that it was really anybody else's decision except mine to make the choice that I did. But at exactly the same time, I can never recall seeing any YouTube channel ever that has killed what was their core content overnight. So that's why I'm giving you guys the choice. And in the end, look at it this way. You guys are going to get to directly make a choice that affects the direction that my channel will be taking in the future. So please vote. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you want on the channel. And until next time, I'll catch you in the skies.